Hey guys, Nick Campbell at Pizza RV. We're outside the 1995 Bounder motorhome. Um, real decent motorhome for the price and the uh, the year. Obviously, it's a 95, so there are going to be some. Uh, it's not going to look like a brand new unit, but everything uh, everything appears to be in good shape. The generator does work on it. Um, I was also notified as well that one of our technicians took this for a couple days back at the end of the fall, and uh, he said all the appliances worked for him then. So. Uh, looks like a real good unit for you guys and uh, for the money it's certainly going to pan out as a good pick I think. Uh, we can see all the outside storage here. Uh, tons of outside storage. Great two-piece windshield. We'll go down the side here. We can see all that outside storage as well. Um, and Again this does have a generator. Uh, nice ladder to the roof up there. Uh, Bounder was a, a great manufacturer and still is today of motorhomes. We've got the nice power step going into the unit. Let's go take a look on the inside. We walk in right to the couch here. Good sized couch. That should make into a bed as well. So we see the couch there. We'll go up to the cockpit here. Uh, we've got the passenger seat here. Gives you guys great comfortability going down the road. The, the driver's seat. We've got the great dash panels here as well. Um, you can turn the generator on from the front dash. Nice Chevy chassis. As we look up here, it does have a TV in it. Um, DVD player it looks like as well. A lot of good storage up over there as well. More storage there. More overside, overhead cabinetry. We've got a third seat here by the entry door, so um, and a nice little flip-up table if you need to use it. Another quick look here. We've got the dinette booth there. That turns into a bed as well. As we look over to the, the kitchen, we've got a, a great Recessed stainless seal, double bowl sink, nice little residential faucet, tons of uh, cabinetry overhead as well, good microwave. We do have the roof air conditioner. You can get a better look at the kitchen setup as well. Coffee maker hanging there as well. Um, tons of overhead storage still. We'll look here, we can see the uh, Dometic refrigerator right there as well. Nice freezer on top. As we go back into the uh, the back area as well. We've got the nice look at the shower setup bathroom here. Great skylight above for added head height. We've got the nice um, you know sink in the bathroom, hot and cold water. Great floor floor mounted toilet. That is a foot flush toilet as well. More storage in there as well. And we've got the uh, power roof vent in the bathroom as well. As we step out of the bathroom, we'll take a look at all the other added storage in the back bedroom area. Tons of cabinetry and wardrobes and drawers in the bottom. As we walk down, great look at the back uh, bed setup. It is a walk around bed, so there's a little bit of uh, walkability around it to make the bed easier. We've got a nice little magazine rack type thing there. We've got a nice little kind of headstand at each side of the bed with drawers in them, you can see there as well. Great window that opens, gives you guys great daylight. Uh, tons of overhead cabinetry again. I mean, you're definitely not shorted with storage on this one. Great window there as well. Nice spot to put a TV if you want to. And we'll just turn around here and we'll look towards the front of it from the back. You can see the great floor layout as well. Uh, again, this Bounder makes someone a great motorhome for, for $10,000. Um, and again, the, the technician who took it did say that things worked when he was in it. So that's a good peace of mind there. The generator does work. Um, it's going to make someone a great motorhome for the money. Um, certainly a usable motorhome and in fairly decent condition as well. Um, a little bit of TLC, some shampooing and carpeting would make this thing look like a, a fantastic unit. Again, it's Nick Campbell, nick at PetesRV.com for email. Please email me with any questions or concerns. And if you guys want to come and take a look at this bounder, uh, we'd love to get you into it. Thanks.